Hi everyone, uh, I'm Muhammad Shah with you. Our subject today is about the solar chimney power plant uh, as a performance model. Uh, we already uh, finished the design model and uh, this is a performance model. And there's um, a difference between uh, performance and design model. In design model, the output, which is uh, the power output, uh, should be assigned uh, as a main input to the model. And by assigning your uh, power demand, uh, you will be able to calculate design aspects such, such as tower height, uh, diameter of your uh, solar field, uh, mass flow rate, and so on. But in performance model, we have the, the, already the, the system. We have uh, we can control uh, height and diameter in order to uh, calculate uh, losses and power output. Uh, from the system first of all open your matlab this is my matlab interface and uh, go to your uh, model folder from uh, don't open your model from desktop just copy it into your um, into your uh, uh, drive main drive or working drive okay uh, this is my working drive and this is my folder so uh, and this is my uh, working folders okay and i have to go to my this is model folder okay and click here uh, sort by name and to group by type okay so you will find your uh, data and uh, and figures uh, all contained in the same model folder and this is our main model okay double clicking okay this is our model uh, um, so the chimney it's about um, uh, natural drafting of your uh, of your air by heating it to reduce uh, its density so the air will uh, fastly uh, uh, goes towards the, uh, the hub and in the hub we can uh, put um, uh, some kind of wind turbine in order to generate electric power uh, first of all, set your simulation time into zero. Okay, this is single point uh, solution, and double clicking on your main block. Okay, this is our main block. What we have here, we can control our solar radiation. Okay, solar radiation. You can set your value. Okay, suppose it's 500, and ambient temperature. Okay, what is my ambient temperature? Suppose it's 35. Okay, and wind speed this is uh, environmental uh, operating conditions what is your average wind speed in your location so it, it, it can vary okay and we have some design aspects such as uh, what is your related to the collector what is your collector diameter suppose i have five meter you can change these parameters if you would like uh, collector uh, cover thickness and uh, cover absorptivity material this is material what is your cover is it plastic so you have to search in uh, about the absorptivity of your plastic or pvc or or glass or whatever and cover emissivity what is your emissivity of your cover and thermal conductivity uh, also so uh, these three parameters will control your material type um, and the effect of your material on uh, the system power and uh, let's go for the chimney we have uh, what is your height chimney height uh, inner diameter uh, of your chimney and uh, outer diameter of your chimney because uh, we have here uh, thermal losses through the chimney tower and uh, thermal conductivity of your material this is another type of your material related to the chimney type and we have for performance we we have uh, to assign your a turbine or generator efficiency as that will uh, affect on your system uh, system is simple straightforward let's go here oh, as you can see here we have here inputs and here we are uh, outputs and this is our model process if you would like to change if you would like to change the mask or photo or uh, just right click on the mother block here going to the mask and edit mask 
in documentation you can change the title and change the script and here you can uh, control some or adjust your inputs uh, for example uh, let's go for uh, turbine efficiency um, you can uh, 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 or for example uh, solar radiation let's go for solar radiation uh, I set my range from 100 uh, up to 150 let it be 100 and uh, 1200 uh, watt per meter square okay so in this uh, case you if you double click you will find it is from 100 up to 100 100 up to 1200 of uh, of uh, watt per meter square and so on and uh, you can change your photo here also right click mask from here edit icon image or from here just uh, uh, you can uh, um, type the name of your uh, image okay to, uh, the image tag besides the extension is it jpg or png or, or whatever so you will uh, um, but be sure that uh, the, um, the file photo uh, is in the same folder uh, of your uh, model like here okay this is my png files and gbg files as you can see here okay and uh, let's go inside again okay uh, we set our inputs if you double click here you can uh, uh, um, control your uh, model uh, uh, process which are uh, inputs and uh, equations and you can copy it and use it in your research okay let's hit run and see okay and okay so based, the, based on our specifications we can develop uh, uh, 56 watt of power okay and we have here solar thermal uh, uh, power which is coming from solar radiation multiplied by the area in what and thermal power uh, from the air or useful power or gain power and we have losses to the ambient okay and this is your overall heat loss uh, air mass flow rate and air velocity okay and um, wind turbine rotor velocity and pressure uh, drop or pressure loss efficiency and uh, tower efficiency and solar collector efficiency okay so you can run this model in um, particular cases so you can um, uh, change your inputs to get your outputs suppose i would like to change this in dynamic mode or some kind of automatically uh, automatic um, not to uh, manually by automatically so set your simulation time into infinity inf saving and let's go here double clicking okay and going here okay i will run my model and try to change solar radiation and see the effect on uh, my uh, parameters okay and this is some uh, outputs suppose you would like to send your outputs here all you have to do is to click here on model browser i'm sorry model explorer and going inside uh, clicking on solar chimney here and this is uh, the uh, process block power output we can save final value to workspace okay solar radiation okay uh, air losses save final final value to workspace overall heat loss uh, mass flow rate of the air uh, velocity velocity of air and rotor velocity pressure drop okay uh, you can uh, uh, send this value in uh, to your workspace uh, if you would like uh, total efficiency and so on i think we got all okay hit apply okay let's saving okay uh, if you run this model again I, i'm sorry in in zero domain run it in zero domain okay let's go out here you will find your values here for example this is your power net power 
and uh, uh, thermal power of the air and uh, overall heat losses or overall heat transfer uh, coefficients okay and so on okay suppose I would like to run this um, uh, uh, automatically so I double clicking going inside set your simulation time into infinity saving and be sure that uh, you highlight all of your signal by sending them to data inspector this or you can uh, be sure that this is a small square or visualize your signal this should visualize your signal or you can if you uh, highlight this now I, I'm not sending my signal so if you click with just one click see dotted and if you click here now I visualized my signal so I can uh, draw my figures and so on saving and uh, let's it run and control by using my keyboard uh, arrows left to right or up and down okay let's go here okay now I, I will move cursor by my keyboard uh, reducing my solar radiation okay and increasing it back again okay so as you can see changing the power and temperature let's decrease the temperature and see the effect okay okay decreasing temperature and uh, increasing it back again okay okay hit okay and stop okay uh, let's log in um, data inspector and see uh, okay let you can from here select a number of slots for example net power is affected by solar radiation and wind and ambient temperature so thermal power uh, tower efficiency and um, uh, total efficiency collector efficiency okay so uh, let's delete all let's delete all okay and in this model uh, in this technique of uh, of running your model uh, this this is very good in case you intended to measure the effect of a specific parameter on the other outputs uh, therefore uh, by uh, reducing or, or increasing the solar radiation I discovered that it has a, an effect on any power and uh, and uh, uh, the efficiency and so on therefore we can do this uh, I, I will return it back to zero okay suppose I would uh, I would like to, to do this automatically so uh, let's have another model so I saved this one okay I I, I have another copy this one uh, it is in dynamic mode let's double clicking and see okay in this one I would like to change my my uh, my inputs uh, related to uh, a measuring data of your solar radiation suppose I have uh, data from uh, my location suppose this one uh, just an example and you can do the following uh, like uh, what I intended to do okay and uh, okay suppose I have a measure measure data the time uh, output uh, power from the solar radiation and uh, and so on okay all I have to do is to uh, copy this uh, uh, data okay and try to enter this data to my uh, model okay suppose I have this is solar radiation data so I, I, I took solar radiation data and ambient temperature and wind speed and it created my signal okay let's go inside so and this is there is no effect here in in this because i already uh, control this automatically how uh, suppose i have uh, 1600 uh, set of of points uh, which represents my day so i clicking here okay and uh, I'm, I, I would like to start from 1 up to 1,000 
and 630 uh, set of points. Uh, these points represent my measured data, which are so I, I disconnect solar radiation and committed it. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, these blocks were were here. Okay, this is the original file. This this is the original file. So I will remove this. Okay, remove this. Okay, and comment these uh, blocks. Let's comment this. Okay, I think this one. Okay, comment these uh, blocks in order to not to be effective uh, uh, on my system. And I will create my signal by drag and drop clicking here, uh, sources, going to the signal here, signal builder. So I drag and drop here. Okay and i copied my excel sheet this is my excel sheet data okay let's double click open it again okay suppose i have uh, power from uh, let's highlight this and exclude with rows exclude rows with okay and this is my uh, solar radiation power i think this column okay for example I'm showing you an example. I think no, not this one. I think it's this one. Pyranometer. I think this one. Yes, this one. Uh, suppose I have this data and I can imp uh, import, export, going to workspace. I, I will find this. Yes, this one. So if you double click here, you will find your uh, uh, our, uh, solar edition data. Control C, copy it. Control C and um, let's go here and double clicking uh, axis. My range of time is from 1 to 1630 uh, set of point and going to the signal and I will replace this by custom signal which is from 1 step 1 1630 points and open a bracket and control v your data from the excel sheet so you will find this uh, this is your uh, solar radiation data recorded solar radiation data from your uh, location okay and i will rename this by solar radiation solar radiation what per meter square okay and saving this one okay so i have here solar addition that okay i will do the same for uh, i will delete this i will do the same for uh, uh, wind speed okay and ambient temperature uh, because these three parameters are most uh, important to my system so this is my solar addition data from my uh, location and this is my wind speed okay suppose i have a wind speed average wind speed which is fluctuating along this uh, time and this is my ambient temperature uh, from my uh, location you can set your uh, so a uh, wind speed as a constant if you'd like as an average value you can replace this by as a constant okay you can replace if you would like actually i i have a random uh, i created a, a file which is uh, can uh, predict my ambient temperature or uh, wind speed. Suppose I have a wind speed range from 0.15 up to 0.5. Uh, let it be 0.25. Okay. And I need uh, 1,630 set of points and sort this randomly. This is randomly. And if you click on here, you will find your wind speed here okay this one double clicking and you can plot this to see this is the wind speed fluctuation within the range that you already decided okay so i copy this one and put it here in my uh, signal builder let's remove this one i close this one okay so i put it here in order to see the effect of uh, on the losses on thermal losses i uh, uh, attached this and 
let's saving and and hit run and see okay system ended okay click here on data inspector let's draw some figures you can increase your uh, your figures let's see our results net power it is affected by solar radiation and also in the ambient temperature and uh, okay so this is your shape of your power based on your um, uh, uh, time domain okay and let's go for solar signal power input to the system in what a uh, total uh, um, let's go for another uh, okay uh, total efficiency of your blend okay and this is uh, tower efficiency affected by uh, thermal losses increasing your thermal losses a uh, solar collector efficiency our uh, let's go for formatting from zero okay and this one is from zero okay okay and suppose i have a pressure air velocity uh, air mass flow rate if you like uh, overall heat loss affected by wind speed okay thermal losses to the ambient affected by wind speed and uh, let's go for pressure losses pressure losses okay so uh, I have m my data what I am going to do I send them to the figure you, you should send them to click on send to a figure and you can deal with them here data property here and I can change here uh, okay so I have here I can uh, hold shift for to highlight all and my uh, x-axis should be at time uh, okay uh, okay Uh, this is my time and uh, for uh, we can select here okay I'm sorry we can change the font we can change uh, it should be times in your Roman here uh, text 12 and let's we can increase our uh, line uh, thickness okay uh, and you can change the color as well okay so and legend here and this one should be here okay this one in the middle okay fantastic and you can change your y-axis okay y-axis should be from this one uh, it is from zero okay okay so this is for example uh, net power power in uh, what okay you can change your axis you can uh, copy this into your uh, research work and see your the effect of your parameters on the system let's have another run I, I will close this okay I will keep this okay let's have an another run when uh, at uh, for example uh, uh, I mean uh, collector diameter let's for example increase my collector diameter up to 10 uh, square meter hit apply and going here saving and hit run so I will go inside okay go inside and see my if I change the parameter the diameter oh so if I change the diameter increase the, the power has increased massively increased because I doubled uh, my uh, diameter solar thermal power also increased massively total cycle efficiency increased uh, and so on so you can make another run and compare run this is the old run run number one and this is run number two and you can compare run uh, based on a specific uh, 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 recommendations or optimum design you would like to uh, adopt or to uh, measure uh, finally, I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model. Don't forget to uh, like, uh, share, uh, and uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.